hello everyone welcome back to my channel friends automation destination so in our last lecture of btd cucumber series we covered how to generate extent report with some default configuration using the spark reporter and in today's lecture we'll be discussing about how to customize the extent report for the spark reporter before that let us take a look on our previous report right so this is the report that we generated in our last lecture right and if you take a look at this it has three tabs first one is test second one is category and third one is dashboard and there is no report name and there are no additional details such as environment details like uh, the operating system details or platform details right they are not available here right so this is what we are going to discuss how to populate such details so how to customize the extent report so if we want to change the look and feel then we can go by this option other ways by providing the parameter within the extent dot properties as well so let us discuss this case first so we need to create one xml file configuration xml file and that xml file we need to point into point into the extent dot properties so what i have done i have created one this spark config dot xml this particular template is provided by the extent team itself i'll be sharing the link of same from where you can get this particular template so let us try to understand what this template is about so it has extent reports as a root node then it has configuration so if you take a look at theme so theme is dark if you want to customize it to dark then we can provide theme equal to dark by default it is standard which is white or light you can say so you see this was the theme which was appearing previously so for example if we want to change the theme then we can provide the theme and let us say if we want to provide the report name we can provide the report name here and if you want to for example provide the document title that also can be provided here and for example if there is a need to see the report even in the offline mode so we can uh, mark this option as true and this particular option thumbnail for base 64 this is something related to screenshot attachment so we'll be covering later when we'll be discussing about how to attach a screenshot so now we have created this xml file next thing is we need to point this xml file in the extent dot properties because this is the intent entry point for the extent reports because extent report look for the look for this extent dot properties under SLC test resources so how to point to this particular config file that we have just created so there is one parameter what is that parameter so this parameter is extent report extent dot reporter dot spark dot config so i'm going to copy it uh, and provide it here then i'm going to provide the location of this spark config xml so you can provide your own path right so once we'll provide this path and if you try to generate or if we try to execute this particular test case then let us see how the report will look like now so you see the theme got changed and the report name is prince ui automation ui demo which we have provided from the extent config or spark config.xml i mean and if you want to take a look at title so i can show you the title as well so title is prince automation destination so this is what we have provided secondly uh, if you take a look at this particular report there are only three tabs first one is uh, test second is category and third one is dashboard right now we have discussed that how to change the theme and how to change the report name next thing is how to view multiple sections and let us try to understand so by default test category and dashboard appears on the report so this is what we just discussed test category this is test this is category and this is dashboard this appears by default and then there is another option which appear on the failure so if there is some failure in the test case then exception uh, tab will also appear so let us try to uh, create that scenario so what i will do i will fail this particular test case intentionally which we are executing so i'm going inside and i'm going to intentionally make it as 
failure right so assert dot assert true and marking it as false instead of true now let us run this particular test case once again now if you take a look at uh, that report we have this exception section also available now right so previously there were three options now we are able to see additional option that is exception now extent report has introduced two more options that is device and author tabs which can also be populated these are customized option now let us discuss how to populate device and author name so in order to populate device and author name extent report has provided two parameter first of all we need to make them enable using this properties so extent dot report dot spark dot enable dot device if we want to enable device we need to provide device as uh, true if we want to enable author so we'll uh, need to make this as true and once this has been enabled right second thing is extent report or adopter will look for these type of test cases this type of tags for on the scenarios meaning it will look for tags starting with at the rate dev or at the rate aut and whatever they will find at the rate dev underscore um, some device name so they will consider that as a device and if they will look for at the rate aut then they will consider that as author right but in case you want to change this prefix you can change these prefixes as well but let us try to understand first how to populate device name and author name so what i will do i will simply go to this particular thing uh, uh, notepad i'm in and copy this particular parameters and put it into the extent properties right so once we have kept it into the extent properties second thing is what we need to do we need to provide device name like at the rate dv underscore so this is the prefix uh, it will look for let us say we want to provide windows and along with that let us say we want to maintain the author details as well so aut underscore prince so this is what they look for by default so for device they will look for at the rate dv underscore and for author they will look for aut underscore right now if i will execute this particular test case let us see what will happen see uh, we are able to see two more options now two more tabs I mean device and author so for device it is showing windows and for author it is showing prints so this particular options will be helpful when we want to see the results for a particular device or if we want to see the results for a particular author post execution of the suit right so this is one nice feature introduced by extent report right so by default as we just discussed by default it look for at the rate dv underscore and for author it will look for aut underscore but in case we want to change these prefixes so we can change these prefixes using extend dot reporter dot spark dot prefix dot device and we can provide our own prefix so what i'm going to do i'm going to change the prefixes now and trying to will try to run the same test case again right now what we will do we will go to extend dot properties and let us say we want to change the prefix for device and author which was previously at the rate dev underscore and at the rate aut underscore and again what i will do i will change it here as well so i will make at the rate dev as at the rate device and at the rate aut as at the, at the rate author right now if i will run this particular test case let us see the report once again so it should show the same results as like previously now let me show you so we are again able to see device and author details right so this is how we can populate device and author right 
so we discussed about test category and dashboard exception will appear on cause of failure and device and author also will appear based on customization right now if you take a look at the report right so what is the default order so first of all test is appearing then exception is appearing then category is appearing then device is appearing author and at last dashboard is appearing right so we can change this order as well using this particular property or we can limit the view as well so for example if we want to view only two tabs that also can be possible using this particular attribute in the extend dot properties right so let us say if we want to change uh, we want to put dashboard at first and exception at last and test at second place that can also be done so let us try to understand the same so for that purpose what i will do i will copy this particular extent dot report dot spark dot view order and we'll put it into the extent dot properties file and what i will do next i'm going to copy the default order which i kept it into the notepad i will go here put it here make sure that you remove the spaces and uh, these tabs should be comma separated right so for default order we don't need to provide anything when we want to change uh, the order or we want to limit the view right in those cases we go for this particular attribute view order right so let us say we want to put dashboard at first and then we want to keep test and at last we want to keep exception <coughs> so we can do like that <coughs> sorry now if you will take a look at the report so dashboard is appearing first and exception is appearing at the last right so this is how we can change the view order of tabs also if we want to for example see only dashboard and test what we will simply do we will simply <coughs> run this uh, meaning remove the rest of the options and we'll put these options only in this way we'll be able to see only these two sections now on the report so i have rerun it and let us see the dashboard now so you will see two options one is dashboard another is test so this is how we can limit the view as well right so we have discussed like how to change the order using this particular attribute now how to populate the additional details on the dashboard for example if we want to provide the details like which particular platform the test cases are uh, getting executed right so that sort of information uh, so we can provide it in two ways one way is by providing it in the extent properties that would be hard coded and another way is we can provide it on the fly using the java code right so let us try to understand both so for first case we need one parameter system info and what we will do we will go to extend properties we'll put it here and let us say we want to give it name os and windows secondly let's say we want to provide version and let us say 11 right <clears throat> let me rerun this particular report once again So you see that on the dashboard now we are able to see this system and environment section and here we are able to see the version of uh, the os and os name right so this is one way by which we can provide in the extend dot properties second way is uh, in the java so from anywhere in the java code we can call this particular line so we will uh, call extend service dot get instance by will by which will create the instance of instance of extend service and then set system info and again we'll provide os let us say provide windows right 
and what we can do we can get the driver capabilities as well and we can populate driver related information as well we can get the uh, environment variable on the fly right that also can be inserted here on the fly right now if i will run this particular test case so this particular section that is os windows will appear on the dashboard now right So let me show you the report so the report uh, the execution is completed and report is generated now we are able to see os is appearing only right so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current video how to achieve different customization in extent report so let us quickly recap what we have covered so first of all we discussed how to change the theme by creating the configuration xml file and uh, pointing that xml file in the extend.properties which is the entry point for the extent report then we discussed how we can utilize this extend config.xml to populate the report of a name of report and title of report right and then we discussed how we can view the multiple sections of the report wherein we discussed default options on full on failure option then we discussed how we can populate device and author which is new option and then we discussed the population of device and author and their respective configuration in the extent properties right and then at last we discussed how we can change the order of the tabs and at very last we discussed how we can introduce introduce system variables using a hard coded value in the extent properties or using java code uh, to insert the values on the fly right so this is what i wanted to cover guys as part of current video thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again